I wanted to start the Howl and the Bark uh, as an outlet for um, telling stories. So I've kind of explained this a little bit in the blog. Um, not a lot of people read the blog, which is fine because I just started it. But the idea behind the Howl and the Bark is uh, I had listened to an audiobook called Story Worthy. And he, uh, he does a great job telling stories, and he explained different ways that he comes up with stories and the ways that he thinks about some moments from his past, uh, and even moments he, that he's actively got going on in his life. Um, uh, little five-second moments happens with his kids all the time, kind of uh, what he talks about. And a five-second moment is a, is a moment of realization. It's a moment of um, enlightenment. It's a moment of just pure, I guess, like serenity and the, the circumstances that led to that moment. And I wanted to start doing that. So, so I designed this, the Howl and the Bark, to, uh, to, as an outlet for, for doing that. I, I want to tell stories. I want to get better at telling stories. And I don't know that I'll ever be good at it or great at it, but um, you don't know until you try. And so this was the opportunity for me to carve time out of my day and uh, start writing and structuring those ideas. And, and I, I don't give myself a lot of time right now. I, for about an hour every day, I sit down and do something. Um, on Mondays, I, uh, I outline and structure the story that I'm doing for the week. On Tuesday, I do a first draft. My idea um, for these are to have them be less than 10 minutes worth of, uh, of story time if I was going to read, um, read them out loud or to tell them verbally. And I'm trying to keep them under, I think, a thousand words when I'm writing them. So I want them to be very short. So I can do a, a first draft in, in an hour, no problem. Uh, and then on Wednesday, I am editing that story um, to try to trim it down and get it as concise as possible while still conveying what I'm trying to do. I'm terrible at editing, so that's going to be something I have to learn along the way. But then on Thursday, I want to go through and add more uh, color, more um, uh, symbolism, more uh, vivid uh, expression, vivid um, uh, words. Words. Wow, I'm thinking of words right now. And then Friday, I publish it. So it's a, it's published Friday. So every week, I'm writing something, and I get I get a, a weekly output uh, for this. And then and then. Through Saturday, Sunday, I try to think about what, uh, which next story I want to tell. So I have a weekly process that allows me to do this, and then I'm going to turn this Friday, um, sorry, Saturday podcast into me talking about those stories, uh, the story behind it, and a little more detail, uh, the things that I cut out of the uh, the writing written part. Um, so I can still tell the story via podcast, but I'm not just reading the story. Uh, so it's just a spoken form of, of storytelling. Um, I'd rather do this behind the story type of thing. So that's what the Howl of the Mark is. And uh, I get to explain my thoughts uh, in it. And hopefully I don't make people hate me. Because I, I'm, I'm a flawed person. And I'm going to do and say things that are um, moments that I've made mistakes in the past. And that happens. And that's how we learn. And... I hope that uh, nothing that comes out uh, creates conflict for people who like me or like my stories. <laughs>